Hey, hey, it's your friend Steve, double hey. Um, sorry I missed last week. Um, I just had my back. My back was all messed up. I was going through some female problems. <laughs> all I have is female problems. So I started, um, so I don't know if I told you about the last time. So maybe like three months ago, maybe like two months ago, somewhere like that. Um, met this girl, let's say, turned her, um, maybe, I don't know where exactly what it was, but we started talking, exchanged numbers, we started talking, and like, um, she was like, oh, let me come over, she's like, oh, I can't come over, I said, okay, that's fine, um, you don't have to come over, like, just chill, we could hang out some other time, so we, like, talked until, like, three in the morning, awesome girl like very pretty very uh, smart like the same shit as I did like we hit it off perfectly and then um so like the next day I'm like mowing my yard and she's like what are you doing it was like well I finished work for the day and mow my yard and then probably take a nap Uh, I get to work at night and she's like oh um she's like I come over I was like well if you want to come over come on over I mean that's fine I'll tell you my address, and you can come over, hang out for a little bit, and, you know. She's like, oh, no, I shouldn't. I don't want to be a whore. And I was like, be a whore. Be a whore is great. I love whores. Whores are, you know, um, you should live like a man for a day. I mean, men are always whores, and no one ever gives us any shit about it. Like, I could put my dick in 100 women, and the government won't tell me to stop. Um, The government won't tell men to stop doing anything. I, they're like, hey, hey, don't don't have so many guns. We're like, fuck you, government, and we have our guns. Women, they're like, hey, I don't want to have a rape baby, and they're like, fuck you, women. Um, it's because mo- it's mostly old white men. Old white men shouldn't be in charge of anything anymore. Like we're the minority. Minority? Yeah. Like we shouldn't be in charge. Like an uh, old white man shouldn't tell an eighteen-year-old black man how to live his life, or an eighteen-year-old black. Uh, you know, woman had to live her life. They don't know anything about you. You know, they could probably tell like a dude with a yacht how to live the, his life, but they, they, they don't even know how I live my life. They, they barely know how to anybody lives their lives. Anyway, so this girl's like, oh, I don't want to come over. I was like, okay, don't come over. That's cool. We can hang out. We'll get a drink or food later. So I'm on my yard and then she's like, I get a text. She's like, I'm on my way. I was like, uh, yeah, I'm, like, mowing my yard. I'm gonna have to, like, take a shower before you come over. And she's like, oh, that's cool. I was like, alright, so I finished, and then she's, like, here. And I was like, oh, fuck. Did not shower. So I was, like, kind of a little stinky. I was a little stinky. So we, like, made out for a little bit, which is cool. I mean, she was cute. I'm I'm down. Still good. Um, So she feels down there. And, you know, the, the snake has awoken. Um, Ten points for Gryffindor. And, uh, so she's like, oh, what's that? And I was like, I mean, you know what that is. And she's like, yeah. And I was like, well, you know, when the snake awakes, he must be, he must be fed. I say weird things. And then, uh, so she like blows me, which was like fantastic. Great blowjob. Top five all time. Um, I don't know where to rank it. I mean, all the effort is there, but I mean like definitely top five, top 10 easily. And, uh, I was like, oh, that was awesome. And then I was like, well, I was like, your turn? And she's like, no, I'm good. And, like, she, like, sits on my couch on the other opposite end. And I was like, oh, you okay? She's like, oh, I shouldn't have done that. I was like, you didn't have to do that. I was like, are you okay? She's like, I don't know. I'm just a whore. I'm just a whore. I'm going to have to go to my dog until him tell him my dog mom's a whore i hate to laugh but it's such a ridiculous thing to do is to tell your dog you're a whore the dog doesn't know you're a whore or what a whore is but i feel bad i felt really bad like she was like very uncomfortable and i was like oh well now i don't know like you're just gonna sit there and like this is just like super awkward because then i'm like should you leave or we're just gonna sit here and be awkward because I kept trying to talk to her and he was like no not having it so then after that I was like oh well I'm high as shit I don't want anything to do with women for a while 
and then uh, I fucked around, met this super hot chick, uh, really fucking hot, um, gave me all the vibes, and then I was like, oh, would you like to go on a date? And she's like, sure, I'd love to go on a date. And then we like started texting. I feel like a really good in-person person. Like, but on text, I come off very annoying to myself and others. Um, but yeah. And then we were, we've been talking, we were talking for like a month after the incident with the, you know, whore girl. I hate to call her anything other than that. But, um, then I, so I'm talking to this girl, way hot, way hot. And then, so I'm giving her like a game. She's getting like all the a game and it seems to be working. And then she just, like, you know, slowly is, like, you know, not into it. I'm like, okay, well, I'm going to just, like, unadd her because I shouldn't get high and, you know, can, you know, hype her up so much. So I unadd her, thinking, you know, you don't respond to any of my texts, so who gives a shit? And then, uh, then I ran into her last night, and she goes, oh, I was like, oh, hey. I bought, it like, her and her friend a shot. My well, she's a lot of the friends, also my friend. I was like, Oh, well, it's her birthday, let me buy her a shot. So I bought them both a shot, and um, and she comes up to me, and she's like, Oh, hey, thanks for that shot. I was like, You're welcome, you're welcome. She goes, Didn't even say hello to me when I came in. I was like, Oh, but I didn't. Sorry, then she's like. You unadded me on Snapchat. I was like, oh yeah, I got really high and I was like, I'm just pouring my energy to this girl and she doesn't really care. So I was like, all right, bye. She's like, I was hurt. I was like, oh, I'm sorry. And then she's like, I texted you. I asked you why you you deleted me. And I was like, I didn't know that was your number. I kind of did. But anyway, I was being a little toxic. I was like, hmm only care when I don't give attention. So I was like, oh, sorry. And then she she said like the one thing that kind of was like, oh, well, I don't really want to be with you anymore or think about you. She was like, I'm the hottest girl that ever wanted to fuck you or something like that. I don't, maybe she didn't say fuck, but anyway, she's the hot, I'm the hottest girl you've ever going to get. I was like, that's a lot of it. I mean, she is hot. She's like really hot, but I'm like, you know what? I don't know. I think I'll bet on myself. I don't know. There there might be like a 10 out there that's like, you know what? I could really use a chubby white guy who's really funny. Not really funny. It's a lot of expectations. I'm kind of funny. But um, yeah, kind of just like a turn off though. Because she's like, honestly, the biggest turn on for me for her was like how hot she was. And then she never really brought it up. She was very kind to people, which I love kind people. And she was very funny. Um, but I don't know, just like that phrase was like the hottest girl you'll ever get. I was like, hmm, maybe I'll roll the dice. I don't know. I think she just likes attention, which is fine. Like, just, just say you like attention. Don't tell me you like me, like me. Um, but then again, she's also busy. I don't know. Maybe I'm just in my head. I'm always in my head. What's in your head? I can't afford the rights. I'm sorry. R.I.P. Cranberries. Um, Yeah. I don't know. I just don't have any luck with women. Um, sorry. I uh, don't have any luck with women. I don't know anything about women. <laughs> it's like, I think I know women. So I know women into the fact, like, I studied for 90% of the test, and then the sex part of women, I didn't get. Like, if I was just friends with a woman, I get women 100%. You're emotional. You love, you're you kind. Um, and you're, you know, you're like a man, but more emotional. Um, which is me. I'm also that. I'm a man, but I'm very emotional. And uh, I don't know. But then, like, it's it's almost like I'm a, like the little fat kid in Little League. And I hit a, I hit a fucking line drive that's a double. And the guys are fumbling it, and I'm running. I'm like, what do I do? What do I do? And then the guy, like, their basement coach, who's, like, you know, someone's dad who has a drinking problem, is like, come on, fatty, run! And I'm like, all right. And I'm like, all right. I'm running. I'm stumbling to first. I'm like, ah, I got to first. Hell yeah. And they're still fumbling. 
there's some like angels in the outfield bullshit going on and he's like go to second and i go all right mister and i'm like stumbling like my le- like i have polio and i'm running for the first time like force gump and i'm like Arr! and i get to second and i'm like holy shit second base all right and the guy's like come on come to third and i'm like oh shit i'm all right and i'm like stumbling i'm like oh my legs can't feel my legs and i get to third i'm like all right this is perfect this is a good place to camp i'll set camp for the day and maybe in a fortnight i'll go to i'll go home only when it's comfortable to go home and the guy's like get the fuck out of here and i'm like and i just stumble i'm like stumbling and i'm crawling to home and that's my sex life I never, like, like, no one's more shocked that a woman wants to have sex with me than me. Like, I'm like, what? They're like, yeah, I want to have sex with you. I'm like, what? I don't know what it is, because I don't think I'm an ugly person, and I have a nice penis. Many people have told me I have a very nice penis. Um, Only girls, oh my god, I don't don't know if I want to tell this story. Ah, fuck it. So this girl I used to fuck, like we met i can't remember where the fuck we met maybe tiktok i don't know she like liked a couple of my videos and i slid into her dms i was like whatever um but yeah she like lives in west virginia i won't give too much details that's a lot of details but anyway she does only fans um let's scratch west virginia let's just say i met west virginia anyway she does only fans she's like oh you have a very nice dick we've sexed it before you know as one does, and uh, she's like, you should just come to West Virginia and fuck for OnlyFans. And, you know, as a, a man who's, like, pro-sex work, because honestly, like, dude, you get one body. If that's, you can make money off that shit. Dude, I'd sell fee picks for fucking $50. i sell my fee picks for, like, 20 bucks. I'm good. Um, but, yeah, she's like, come move to West Virginia and let's start our OnlyFans, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, eh. I have made home videos before, and my penis does look relatively okay. I'm not, like, swinging a monster. Let's not get, like, ahead of ourselves. I'm just a semi-funny man with a, you know, pretty average dick. Maybe a little above average. I'll say a little above. Um, But it's, like, on my body, it looks like a pretty decent dick. But if you put my dick on, like, a man half my size, I think my dick would look huge. But it's just proportional to my body. Just keep that in mind. Because, like, Shaq probably has a semi-small dick. But, like, to you, it's massive. Uh, but to his body, it's not proportional. I don't Maybe I shouldn't put Shaq down. He is a black man. I love Shaq. Shaq's funny. I probably beat my ass. 100% beat my ass. I don't know. I feel like there's maybe, like... There's a decent amount of people that could beat the shit at me. Uh, spam. Only co- phone calls I get. Um, but anyway. What a long way. Um, I feel bad. Should I call that girl who... Okay, women. Let's let's have a drink this week to women. Um, enjoy sex. I know. I'm Irish Catholic. I get guilt for sex too. But don't feel bad for putting a penis in your mouth. When you're good at it. Or even if you're bad at it, I don't really care. I mean, it's fine. Just don't beat yourself up about it. And don't bring your poor dog into it. That's my life lessons. Um, anyway. Uh, let's see. I'm probably going to eat something real quick. I'm starving. Um, I love you guys. Hopefully this is a funny episode. If not, don't cancel me. Don't cancel me, Argentina. I can't afford that. I'm sorry. Um, cash at me a dollar. Everyone Venmo me a dollar. If you watch this, Venmo me one dollar. Let's see what happens. Um, I'm just going to have a dollar. That's all that's going to happen. Anyway, love you guys. Let's drink to women. Women, I love you guys. You guys are great. Keep up the good work. You're doing do, doing great. Don't be too hard on yourself. Um, also, looking pretty cute. I'm looking pretty, pretty cute. Anyway, peace and love. Uh, as always, fuck Hitler, right? Return to Tony Mike!